Mr. Klein Storytime. Hello, my name is Mr. Klein. I've been an elementary school teacher for almost 30 years, and I love reading stories to young people just like you. In fact, I've got a great story that I'd like to share with you right now. So let's get started. Love and the Rocking Chair by Leo and Diane Dillon. Love and the Rocking Chair. Storyteller's Note Every family has its own story, and no two families are the same. Yet for all of us, time passes, and as it does, our lives change. Babies are born, children grow up, parents get older, and sometimes we even lose a person we cherish. Throughout it all, love flows from one generation to the next, on and on and on. Families are a great source of strength, support, and hope. The bonds that connect our family members, children, parents, grandparents, and more, often become the sustaining ties that keep us healthy and safe in a world that may sometimes seem uncertain or even frightening. My husband Leo and I wrote and illustrated this book inspired by our own rocking chair, bought when we were expecting our son. It saw us through sleepless nights, lullabies, storytelling, and playtime, a beloved member of our family and witness to many wonderful memories. The family in this story passes a cherished rocking chair from parent to child, one generation to the next. But the deeper message passed along is this. Through hard times and good times, we are here for you. We have always loved you, and we always will. Many years ago, a young couple stood in a sea of chairs, searching for just the right one. Look at that chair over there. It's perfect for the baby's room, the young woman said. A few days later, the rocking chair arrived in a big truck. The couple placed it in the nursery. Not long after the chair was delivered, the new little person arrived. His mother sat in the rocking chair, singing softly to her baby. As the little boy grew older, his father helped him choose some favorite books. They sat in the rocking chair and the father read him stories while the boy looked at the pictures. The boy loved the chair. He rocked back and forth, pretending the chair was a wild horse racing across the plains. The rocking chair inched across the floor until it could go no farther. He pulled it back to where he started and rocked again. Soon the boy was old enough to go to school. He made new friends and rarely thought about the chair. It sat in his room, filled with toys he didn't play with anymore. Seasons passed, and the boy became a young man. He packed his clothes and left for college. The chair was moved to the attic. Sometimes the young man came home to visit, but the rocker was forgotten, unused and gathering dust. As children grow up, their parents get older too. Years went by and the father became ill. One sad day, he passed away. The son returned home to say a last goodbye to his father and to comfort his mother. The next time he came, he brought someone. Mom, this is the woman I want to marry. His mother hugged the woman and welcomed her into the family. After the wedding, the couple moved in with the son's mother. 
In time, they learned a new little person was on the way. The couple prepared the nursery, and then the husband remembered the rocking chair. I'll go get it. He lovingly dusted it off and placed it back where it belonged. Soon, the new little person was born. This time, it was a girl. The grandmother sat in the rocking chair and sang softly to the baby. She thought of her husband and wished he could see their granddaughter. Seasons passed, and the little girl grew. She sat in the chair, rocking back and forth, pretending she was on a sailing ship drifting across the clouds. Soon she would be old enough to go to school and make new friends and have adventures all her own. And someday, the girl hoped, she would have her own little boy or girl. And the chair would be needed again. Like her grandparents and parents before her, the little girl knew the love of her family would always be there, and that was what mattered most. The End Thank you for coming to Storytime. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I read new stories every week, so be sure to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to hear another one. Hope to see you again soon.